afternoon. Welcome back, you beautiful people, and welcome to a two day epic adventure with myself, me, myself, and I, and the camera, and you beautiful people. This trail's been super wet. Very, very wet. Hopefully, you enjoy this video. I need to make it back to the van before it gets dark because it's, it's late. And uh, yeah, enjoy. <laughs> Oh. Welcome back you beautiful people and welcome to a beautiful day here in well, in Wales. It's uh, Elan Valley. I'm at Elan Oaks uh, campsite. I'm going to use this place as my base camp because I've got a big route planned and I want to go all the way around these mountains, all the way through here. There's some huge rivers that I'm going to be crossing. It's going to be a wet one, but first I need to pack the essential things. I'm only going out for, it's a big day, so I've got to make sure I take some good snacks. I've got my Garmin with the route all planned on. I've got some uh, lights just in case I get stuck out there in the dark. My essentials in here are, well, I've got a burner and I've got a coffee, I've got an AeroPress. I'm gonna go and find a really good spot for lunch. I'm gonna make some sandwiches. I'm gonna pack my sandwiches in here. And I am going to uh, go and get super wet because um, today there's not much river crossings. There might be a little bit, but tomorrow, ugh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a day. I'm going for a swim multiple times, which I'm looking forward to. No cameraman, just me, my bike, and my thoughts, which are quite scary. Anyway. is one hell of an old bridge. We've just come up from the valley behind me and I'm now, well, not at the top top, but look at this view. Oh, it's beautiful, man. <laughs> Basically, I've seen loads of these trails in Elam Valley. We've ridden some of it, we did a night shoot, somewhere over there, I think. And there's an incredible off-road track for vehicles on the other side over there, which we're we'll gonna be riding tomorrow. It's a bit of a challenge because there's a lot of water. If you love opening gates, Wales is the place for that. <laughs> Look at this view behind me. Look at that. So I've parked below the damn wall. So if that thing bursts, which I hope it doesn't, I'll be, I'll be sleeping with the fishies, man. It's getting a bit chilly, actually. A bit cold, I am and a bit of sunlight that I could uh, soak up. I was having a nice hot beverage. That's what I'm gonna do, and a sandwich. So if I was like deep summer, I'd definitely go for a dip here. Today, no. Sheep, whales, full of them. This is the trail that I was thinking about. It is it. I've driven this in my Jeep, it's really good. It's, it's pretty tame, but it's good fun. On the bike, it's rocky. There's a horrible river crossing at the, at the very end, at the uh, reservoir wall. So, that's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna get wet feet. I'm gonna get wet legs. Oh! This, this road is rocky, but it's scenic and it's super fun. Look at this reservoir wall. 
thought I could smell something dead. Makes me feel sick now. I've just driven, ridden through it. Oh dear. Oh. Oh sheep. Oh sheep. And it's just like going down there and I've just ridden through all that dead sheep water. That's a big wall. Look at it. A feat of engineering that is, I tell you. I wonder how long that took to build. About 10 years. Us. That's beautiful, that is. Nothing beats homemade cake. And a view like this. I absolutely love it. Banana bread it is. Banana bread. <coughs> yeah. The sun's going down, so uh, I don't want to get caught up. I've got lights, but I want to get back. Have a shower, chill, look at the maps again, and reassess. Because uh, tomorrow's going to be uh, interesting. <laughs> There's one thing I like doing, and I don't do it very often, and it's not very well practiced, and that's my photography. I love taking photos, but you get lazy with your camera, especially when you've got your mobile phone in your pocket. But on this little adventure of mine, I'm gonna take some photos. Amazing grace, how sweet the but there's a instrument dumped over here. That's a Stamford Blackstone. That's what that is. Stamford Blackstone. And Co. Limited. That's how old that is. I am no professional. I just try and practice it on my own. I'm, I'm teaching myself. That's what I'm doing. Teaching myself. Look at this sunset. It's just firing down there, Dan. I'm gonna head down there. Look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna go across that bridge. I've ridden that over there in the dark. I've ridden that in the dark, but today we've actually come, look, I'll show you. We came from behind this thing, up along the top of that, down there, all the way behind all this, all the way over there, up and over here, then here to here to down there. That was a big day. And the stats, as we know it, 26, nearly 27 kilometers, five, nearly six hours. Uh, average speed, yeah, blah, blah. But 700 meters of climbing. Not bad, considering I was like, back and forth, back and forth with the camera. Right, I've moved location because I'm going to, uh, well, the start and finish on the route I've planned starts here and ends here. So we're back at this big place. We rode past this yesterday. Um, I'm gonna go around this lake, all the way around the back end of it, come down a trail called Strata, Florida, which is a, is a byway. So it's open to the public, but it's not suitable for normal vehicles like Javan. It is a mass alluvial. It'll take four hours to ride it uh, all the way around, but I'm going to be filming it and the weather has changed. So I've got more layers on. I'm taking an extra jacket. Where I'm going, Strata Florida is really well known for its river crossings. And I'm doing it in winter. It's a bit foggy. Oh 
old man. I've come to the end of the reservoir. That was brutal. It's windy, head on. There's like misty, cold, icy rain. It is about one degree, but I reckon the weather, the, the wind's minus. Adventure! I have a slight issue with my maps. Pony. Hello, little pony. Hello, little pony. <laughs> nice. Wet feet now. Maps have taken me off grid. I can see some uh, some cycle tracks here. It looks like there's nothing here, and it's just like I'm going into the great wilderness. It's a bit daunting, really. I don't know what to expect. I've pegged it out on commute, so it uh, people have ridden it, but it is. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> Trust me, I did not put the camera there thinking that was going to happen. <coughs> this is hard. It's difficult. I'm actually getting cold because I'm not really working. I'm just walking and oh, it's actually quite horrible. I have no signal. I do have the garments I could send a distress uh, beacon or an emergency just, and then it sends me my, my location to my wife and to other people. I don't like it. If I, pin, I, did, if I didn't have the Garmin, I wouldn't even bother get lost up here and freeze. reason I think I just needed fueling up we're I'm three three hours in got a little bit more gas I got some water still so I can have a hot drink it's like I'm on a mission I'm on a mission today I knew it was gonna be hard but this is hard oh so good It's actually easier than I thought, than know what I'm worried about. <laughs> Done that, tick. All right, let's move on to some, uh, there's a deep river crossing. <laughs> that was a deep one. Feet are cold, but really fun. So I've done this trail in my Jeep. I've done it on my Africa Twin. Now I'm doing it on a bicycle. Ow. Lit. Uh, it, it, it's ice. Look. <laughs> oh, whoa. It's going to be cold. Gosh, my legs, man. Right, it's getting late. It's quarter past two. That gives me two hours to get back. And I have actually got quite far to go. Uh, so I'm gonna mosey. So it might be a little bit quick in the edit right now, because I just need to get over this mountain. <laughs> You're on the other side, because I am on the other side. I need to go back over there. Where I've just come from. Oh. Man, 
energy down. I've got miles still to go. <coughs> I think I've bitten off too much. Oh. I can't see anything. So I have no idea where I am, apart from the purple line on my go Garmin. Wow, look at this. It's like I'm somewhere in the States, in America, where it's just vast. And I'm way up in the mountains. Oh, it's like Patagonia, where it's just open and barren. Oh man, it's incredible. I'm just on the the line of the clouds, look at that there. There's a the clouds coming in. Oh, would you look at that? Look, it's there. I went on that all the way around there and flipping miles down there. Oh, we made it, beautiful people. This section here, yeah, demanding. Terrain is horrible, but <coughs> it's worth it. But I wouldn't do it without a Garmin or any other computer that has navigation on, because when you get stuck in a place like that, where you can't see, the fog is thick, you have got no reference points or anything, you are in danger. And I, I wouldn't recommend you do it because you don't want to put yourself at risk. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. It's been absolutely epic, especially day two, this day. I am soaked through, but with the correct gear, more gear. I got waterproof socks on, I got long bibs, I've got layers and layers and layers, and plus more layers. Anyway, just remember, weather can change. Thank you very much for watching this epic video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you want to see more of me going on solo missions, let us know in the comments down below. But for now, I'm heading to my van, which is there. So I gotta go down there for a cup of tea. See ya! <laughs>